Years ago, a girl sees her brother's missing boat in her home's pool. She lied on her bed and told her sick brother that she was going to get that boat for him. Her brother didn't say anything because he was very sick. The girl went to the pool and jumped into the water. Suddenly, a strange force pulled her into the depths of the water. The girl would have died then she saw her mom outside the pool. When she came out there was no one outside not even her mom. Suddenly, a strange force pulled her into the water again that the girl was never seen again. The scene cuts here and shifts to the present time and we see Ray's family. They were looking for a house with a swimming pool to stay where Ray could be treated. Because of an accident, Ray's central nervous system was damaged and now he was not able to do things like walking, while looking properly because of the disease, he was removed from the team. They choose the same house to stay as we saw at the start of the movie. After shifting home, they first think about cleaning the pool. Ray's hand is cut while doing this. Now they call some professional people to clean the pool. The water source of this pool was underground. They didn't have to put water in the pool themselves, the water under the ground used to come into this pool naturally. They say this water can prove to be very good for you. Anyway, we see that the pool was ready again. This family was very happy. They jump into the pool, everyone was having a lot of fun. They do some of their work and at night, Ray's wife goes to swim in the pool again. She also sees Ray standing outside the pool while swimming but when she comes out there was no one. Ray's wife gets scared of all these things and goes inside the house. Now here we were shown sitting on their cat. It sees the same board in the middle of the pool which was shown at the beginning of the story and the next day, all of them found their cat's collar in this water. Their cat was now missing. Ray's son was very sad about this. His mom says don't be sad we will put a cover on this pool so that this never happens again. Ray notices that there is no pain in the big cut he got from the swimming pool yesterday. He opens the bandage and sees that such a big cut was completely cured as if no injury has ever been inflicted. Ray thinks that all this happened because of the water in the pool. That's why he spends as much time in the pool as possible. On the other hand, Ray's wife starts having bad dreams related to the pool. The next day, Ray goes to the doctor for a regular checkup. The doctor says surprisingly, Ray is recovering very fast. It is shown that Ray's son was sitting near the swimming pool and suddenly, a lot of coins start coming into the swimming pool. He thinks that these coins are probably thrown by his dad and starts collecting them. Suddenly, he sees a girl in the water. The same girl who got missing in this pool at the start of this movie. That girl was asking for help from the drain hole of the swimming pool. When he puts his hand in this drain, he gets a toy. When he takes out this toy, he sees a lot of hair on it. Suddenly, those hairs turn into hands and this hand starts pulling him towards itself. The boy gets scared and comes out of here. He tells all these things to his mom but when his mom checks, there was nothing. All of them go to Ray's baseball practice together. While doing this, Ray was feeling weak at first but when he puts all his focus, this time, he hit such a shot that the ball burst. Along with everyone, he was also surprised by this thing. At night, Ray and his wife go for dinner. Ray's daughter calls her friend. When they are swimming in the swimming pool, that girl sees a ghost in the water. Afraid of this, she was about to come out of the pool but the same ghost pulls her into the water. Not only this, this ghost also took her down from the water of the swimming pool. This girl comes out of the swimming pool saving herself from this. She gets so scared that her brother also understood that something bad had happened to her. That boy says to his sister I know that something is wrong in this pool and we should tell mom and dad about this but that girl says, no, you won't do that. Because this is the pool that is healing our dad very quickly and our mom is also happy. Both of them believe that this pool is haunted but they don't tell their mom and dad about this. The next day, they arrange a pool party and the agent comes from whom Ray bought this house. Ray's wife asks him, I have heard that the pool was closed for 15 years. How is it possible that the people who lived here for so many years did not use this pool? The agent says a girl had drowned here many years ago about whom people started talking nonsense. People started getting scared of this pool and then no one ran this pool. Ray's wife says, was that girl's name Rebecca. The agent was shocked that how do you know about this? This name was actually told by the pool to Ray's wife. During the pool party, everyone was enjoying while Ray's son was watching everything that was going on in this pool party from the camera. 
because he didn't want anything bad to happen here. Ray, who was in the water with a child at this time. Suddenly, he sees a black shadow in the pool which went inside him in a second and possessed him as he comes under the control of that black shadow, Ray goes into the water with that child. Ray's son, who is standing in his room, notices all this and comes down and tells his mother. They save the child in Ray's hand but the child with whom Ray had gone into the water was his coach's son. The coach was very angry. He could have filed and fur against Ray. But Ray's wife tells him that this must have happened because of Ray's illness. Ray's condition had also become very strange. He was also doing strange things. That's why his wife locks him in the room and herself starts researching on the girl who was drowning in this pool years ago. Doing this, she finds out that people have been disappearing in this pool for centuries. Knowing this, she herself was in fear. She first removes the water from this pool and then goes to Rebecca's mother and asks her what happened to Rebecca and your son, who was very sick, how is he completely fine today? And how did he become such a big man in the city? First of all, this woman says whatever you are telling is a lie, I didn't have a daughter. But by get forced by Ray's wife, she starts telling a story of a wishing well. A story of such a well, people's wishes would be fulfilled by putting coins in it because the water of the wishing well was magical and that's why that water was worshipped, but there is a twist in the story. Whenever someone used to wake this water up to fulfill his wish, then this water would ask for a price. Rebecca's story was that her brother was sick whom we saw at the beginning of the story. Her mother wanted to cure him. That's why she asked for a wish from this water and she paid the price of fulfilling this wish by giving her daughter to the water. In simple words, she sacrificed her daughter to cure her son. Ray's wife notices that this woman was crying with black tears. Something was possessing her and the water here was also doing strange things. She gets scared of all these things and leaves but now she had also understood that she had filled this pool to cure Ray. Ray will be fine but this water will swallow one of his children. Reaching home, we see that Ray's two children are looking for their parents and that's when Ray's son hears his cat outside. When he goes out to check, he is surprised to see that the pool was filled with water again. This bothers him because he knew that his mother had emptied this pool. He goes ahead to check the pool and then again he sees his cat sitting on a tube in the pool. When he goes inside the pool to save it, something pulls him inside the pool and the cover of the pool starts closing. Ray's daughter, who was watching all this, goes out to save her brother and in the meantime, Ray's wife also comes here. Both of them start trying to open the cover of the pool again. And Ray's wife tells her daughter to go and call Ray for help but inside, Ray was badly possessed by some evil power. He had taken it in his control and that's why Ray attacks his daughter too. Here, Ray's wife puts a pipe in her mouth and jumps into the pool so that she can save her son and breathe through this pipe. When she goes down from this pool, she faces deep water. She finds her son here, but she also sees a lot of ghosts, they all were scaring her. She tries to escape from them but she couldn't find the way out and here, Rebecca's soul helps her. She drops a coin into the water. Ray's wife took her son out of the pool while going in the direction of the coin but now her son was not breathing. She was trying to save him and that's when the possessed Ray comes here. And he tells her that you won't be able to save your son. Saying this, he also grabs his wife by the neck and lifts her in the air. Before he kills his wife, his daughter hits his baseball bat on his head from behind. His daughter asks him to come to his senses and that's when Ray remembers the good times he spent with his family. He vomits and the evil spirit inside him comes out and the evil spirit that came out of Ray had turned the water black. Ray had now understood that someone would have to go into the water and make a sacrifice. He falls into this water to save his family and this water had accepted him as a sacrifice and given his son a new life. In the last scene of the movie, it is shown that Ray's family was missing him a lot. They had now decided that they would live in this house for the rest of their lives. So that no one ever wakes up the water in this pool again and neither does this pool kill anyone else.